Oh, hello, this is Tak Chung from Walk with Tak. Welcome to my YouTube channel. If you enjoyed this video, please like, subscribe, and share. Uh, feel free to write me at walkwithtak at gmail.com. Uh, if you have any question regarding this video or any other questions, it is easier for me to reply through email. Uh, and I will answer you promptly. Uh, if you have any videos that you would like me to make, uh, please let me know. I'm looking forward to hearing from you. Uh, the goal of my YouTube channel uh, is how to make home cooking practical, efficient, creative, fun, and so that you can make it part of your daily routine. In this video, I'm going to demonstrate how to cook a simple orange chicken in less than five minutes. Uh, there are many ways how to create the orange chicken flavor. As some of the recipes are complicated, it requires up to seven or nine different ingredients. However, this orange chicken is very simple because all you need is to use the combination of oyster sauce and a orange marmalade. Upon the request by a viewer, I have prepared a printed version of this recipe and I have provided a link below the video that you can gain access to. By making the adjustment to the ratio of the oyster sauce to orange marmalade, uh, you can create many different types of orange flavor, not only used for orange chicken, but you can use it for many other dishes as well. Okay, let's get into the kitchen. I'm going to show you how to cook this dish. I'm going to use my Emusa 14-inch light cast iron wok to cook this dish. A light cast iron wok is a material that is very similar to cast iron, but it is much lighter. Uh, this wok I'm using here is available at Walmart. It's made by a company called Emusa, and it is relatively inexpensive. It's about $27. Uh, you can take a look at this video in which I review this wok. Uh, this wok has many characteristics very similar to a cast iron wok. It has great holding capacity, and it heats up much faster than a cast iron wok. Uh, furthermore, it is much lighter, and it is very easy to be seasoned to create a non-stick cooked surface. I use a method called spot seasoning uh, that I use to season standard steel, carbon steel, and cast iron wok, and it works very well with this wok as well. I start out with about two tablespoons of canola oil, and I'm going to heat up the oil until it reaches its smoking point and I'm going to maintain this temperature for about 15 seconds. And this is a time when the wok is being seasoned. You should carefully uh, adjust the uh, heat capacity of your burner uh, so that you do not heat the oil too much and lead to uncontrolled uh, smoking. And this method is very effective. Uh, it allows you to season the wok right on the spot, and that's why I call it spot seasoning. Uh, no matter what state your wok is in, uh, this method will guarantee that you will have a non-stick cooked surface. I'm going to cook about 8 ounces of chicken. Now, uh, this chicken has been prepped as soon as I brought it back from the supermarket. And I freeze them in this portion because this is the amount that I usually use to cook my dish. Uh, this will allow me uh, to fall out the chicken rapidly from the freezer, uh, usually in less than about 10 minutes. And so I am ready to cook uh, in 10 minutes from freezer to the wok. I coat the chicken with a thin layer of cornstarch, and that works really well because it protects the chicken from the heat of the wok. And the end result, the chicken is moist and tender. Otherwise, it will be dry and stringy. And because the kitchen has been cut into thin slices, it cooks very rapidly. In fact, it takes only about uh, somewhere between 40 to uh, 60 seconds to cook. At this point, I have my stove set to high uh, because I constantly stir the chicken, so I don't have to worry about it getting burned. Uh, so the general rule of thumb when you stir frying is that as long as you're able to stir the content constantly uh, without having them sitting at the bottom of the wall, uh, you can leave the heat at high. Now the chicken is almost done. I'm going to turn the heat to low because I'm going to season the chicken next. At uh, first, I season the chicken with some dry seasoning mix. Uh, in this case, I use them one by one, but you can substitute it with the wok with tuck basic seasoning mix. Uh, this seasoning makes high in the seasoning agents with umami flavor, and the intention is to enhance the natural flavor of the food ingredients. I have it available on Amazon, 
and if you would like, you can give it a try. And this video will show you the composition of this seasoning mix, and uh, you can put it together yourself as well. Next, I'm going to create the orange flavor for the chicken. At this point, I'm going to turn down the heat uh, so that I will not overcook the chicken. Now, there are many different ways to create the orange flavor. And the way that I use uh, allow you to make much better adjustment of how you would like the flavor. And this method is very simple because it will allow you to fine-tune the flavor that you will like. I'm going to start out with one tablespoon of oyster sauce. Uh, the oyster sauce will be the foundation of this seasoning strategy. And I can vary the amount of oyster sauce depending on how salty I want the dish. I discovered to create the orange flavor of the dish, one of the best ways to do is to use orange marmalade. I'm going to use about two tablespoons of orange marmalade. Uh, you can vary the ratio between oyster sauce and orange marmalade depending on how much of orange flavor that you would like to achieve. For this orange chicken, I'm going to include some cashew nuts. Now, you can use different type of uh, cashew nuts. Uh, in this case, I use a uh, cashew nut that has been roasted but not salted. Uh, this is probably the most convenient uh, way to do it because most of us probably have cashew nuts either they have been roasted or quite often they have also been salted uh, i just happen to have those that are roasted but not salted it is probably better not to use cashew nut that is salted so that it will not affect the flavor of your dish the other good way to use cashew nut is to use cashew nut that is natural, that has never been roasted. Uh, in this case, uh, you can either fry them yourself uh, or you can uh, bake them in the oven or roast them in the oven. Uh, either way will work. Uh, it's very much of a personal preference. Uh, I have people who told me that they much prefer cashew nut that um, they actually either fry them or roast them themselves. Okay, the final step is to garnish the dish with some scallions. I really liked how uh, the flavoring approach is taken for this orange chicken dish uh, because uh, I use uh, oyster sauce as the foundation that will provide umami flavor uh, to the orange chicken and then I use the orange marmalade to provide the orange uh, flavor. Now the nice thing about using this combination is because you have a lot of flexibility to adjust the flavor of the dish. Uh, if you want the dish to have stronger um, orange flavor, uh, then you can use a little bit more orange marmalade and less uh, oyster sauce. But for some people, they prefer uh, maybe uh, have a more of a um, perhaps a umami flavor uh, over the orange flavor. Some people do not like the dish to be so sweet. Uh, then you can uh, the alter the ratio by with more oyster sauce and a little bit less orange sauce. So this provides you a lot of flexibility that you can create the type of flavor that you want. Now this uh, dish can be used in many different ways. Uh, you can cook this dish as a standalone dish, which itself is a main dish, or uh, you can combine this dish with other vegetables. Uh, I personally prefer the other way uh, because this will allow me to uh, eat more vegetables. And in this case, I use the chicken more as a condiment rather than as the main ingredients. And you can use this dish in combination with a whole variety of uh, vegetables and that will give you truly great results. So uh, experiment with it and see what you can do. Uh, I have uh, provided uh, the recipe below this uh, video. Uh, upon the request from one of the viewers and so take a look if that will help you uh, in the future any type of dishes that you would like me to provide a recipe let me know i have provided this uh, recipe in a google doc document uh, in the link below so you can print it out uh, i post a video each day to help you to make home cooking as part of your daily routine uh, so that your home cooking uh, could be practical efficient creative and fun uh, using my fast cooking system so uh, keep on cooking. I will see you tomorrow.